and flooding continues to be a major issue for residents in several areas of the northwest. But there is good news in many areas as water levels have either peaked or began to recede. And Riley has the latest from the region. It's a slow process, but more and more sections of the northwest are starting to appear back above water. Just less than two weeks ago, this section of Dryden's waterfront was inaccessible and flows through the Domtar Dam have slowed, the effects of which have shown up downstream in the Eaton Rugby area. Water has also receded at Buller Creek. However, that section of Highway 105 to Red Lake remains closed. Meanwhile, in Fort Francis, some good news to report as Rainy Lake has finally crested. However, Operations and Facilities Manager Travis Robb says the community isn't out of the woods just yet as the area is about to enter its rainy season. Inflows are, are declining, but they're very, very close to outflows. So uh, even a moderate uh, rain event will, will definitely see either those inflows you know, slowing, possibly lake levels rising again. Um, it, it's, we're, we're still at a very volatile point in terms of, of where we are with the flooding and the lake levels. Rob notes, however, there is still a large supply of sandbags on standby should the need arise. As well, he says there's roughly a two-foot difference in water level between the lake and the river, which is why some businesses, Point Park and the Kuchiching First Nation, which reside alongside Rainy Lake, have gotten the worst of the flooding. As well, the Sioux Narrows Nestor Falls area has also had to deal with higher water levels, which has put stress on lots of public and private dock infrastructure. Now all that water has to go somewhere, and unfortunately, it's towards Kenora, which has already suffered from heavy flooding for several weeks now. Fire Chief Kent Redmond says all eyes are focused on the lake, but he's confident the city will be able to hold the line and protect assets. It's going to filter its way through the lake and come up here to the Winnipeg River, but uh, you know we're relying on the Lake of the Woods Control Board. They're providing us as accurate and up-to-date numbers as they can on what to expect as far as the rising water levels in the Kenora area and the, you know our portion of the Winnipeg River system. So uh, definitely concerning. Doesn't. Uh, Unfortunately, it just keeps rising, and we're hoping that there's a peak here in the near future. Earlier this month, the province declared several communities in the region as a flood zone and opened up emergency funding for residents. However, nothing so far for municipalities. Both Rob and Redmond says it's much too early to determine the amount of damage that has occurred, nor an estimate as to the cost for repairs. Adam Riley, TBT News.